Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear student. Welcome to all of you in our online classroom, arranged by Samsula Khan School and College English version. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. It's your science teacher, Muhammad Intia Jamad. Well, today, I am going to talk about the rest of the part of chapter 9. In my previous class, I have discussed the first three pages of this chapter. And today, I am going to finish the rest of the part. So, I hope you all are ready. Please open your textbook as well as take another marking pen so that you can underline the important sentences that I have marked in, in those two pages. So, let's start and open your textbook page 65. In page 65, the topic says the technology in agriculture. There is a question arise, how do we use technology in agriculture? Well, there is an activity inside this page. You can see there is a table and we have to do something. We have to find out something like there are some agricultural sector like the dairy farm and what kind of technology nowadays is using in the dairy farm. Then we have paddy field what kind of technology nowadays is using in the paddy field or uh, in the fruit farm or vegetable field. If you look into the picture, you can see that there is a tractor who actually cultivate the land and we use this kind of land for the paddy field or for the vegetable field. And in the next picture, there we can see the harvester. The harvester means it can cut down or the crops from the land and the next picture I can see that it is called planter that means if you want to uh, uh, if you want to put some seeds into the land some vegetables it can be the fruit seed or uh, the crops you can do it with the machine and it is quite convenient and easy for us then we can see the sprinkler A sprinkler normally distribute the water around the vegetable field and all the <coughs> trees get those water from with the help of this sprinkler uh, sprinkler then we can see that there is a milking machine uh, where the machine collects the milk from the cow and it's quite uh, easy and it's also uh, it reduces the time and also uh, it can helps us very well then we can see the irrigation pump you know that Whenever we need the water in the paddy field, we, we need huge number of water. With the help of this irrigation pump, we can uh, arrange a lot of water into the paddy field so that the paddy can grow well. In the next page is page number 66. Well, before starting to about this topic, I would like to tell you, pause this video and mark those online with the red color line in your textbook because these lines are very important for the matching and for the fill in the blanks which will come in in our exam so let's see what it says technology has played an important role in agriculture the summary on the use of technology in agriculture is given below first it is agricultural equipment Different types of agricultural equipment have been developed like tractor, cultivator, planter, sprinkler, irrigation pump, harvester and milking machines are examples of agricultural equipment. It allows a small number of people to grow and to process a lot of food in a shortest period. Well here you can learn that why we are using this kind of technology in the agricultural field. As you know, the huge number of people need huge number of foods and to grow the crops on the uh, land normally in an ancient day, the human being gives their effort to grow the crops on the land. But nowadays a huge number of people has <coughs> and now in the world there is a lot of people. So we need a lot of food. So it's quite tough for human being to grow this kind of huge number of uh, crops in the land. That's why we have invented the machines which can uh, help us and which can allow or need only a small amount of human being but they can give the output 
a huge number of uh, crops they can grow within a shortest period of time. If you look into the right side, there are the pictures of uh, tractor, the cultivator, the planter, the sprinkler, the irrigation pump, the harvester, and the milking machines. Well, with the help of this kind of device, we are really uh, improving day by day in our agricultural sector, and we are in, we are increasing the number of quantity of our crops and production. Then, production of crops. The modern agricultural technology is applied for production of crops that resist diseases and pests and grow very fast. Rice, wheat and potato are the examples of crops that are improved by technology. Those new types of crops help farmers increase the amount of production of crops and reduce their workload. That means uh, not only machine, we also invented some kind of technology where we can uh, create some kind of new species of uh, crops which can resist the disease and the pest and they can grow very fast like nowadays you can see the size of our vegetable are much bigger than the earlier it happens because of this technology because we are now uh, increasing the amount of production of crops rather than the before because uh, in the earlier time Nowadays, in a certain zone, we can produce uh, three, three more times uh, crops in the land. Other technologies in agriculture. Technology is introduced to collect the forestry and to invent new variety of plants. We can use chainsaw to cut down the trees and collect wood easily. Technology is used to invent plants with special trait, for example, Plant breeding help us produce the beauty of many different colors of flowers in a species. Those colorful flowers are used for decorating a room or beautifying our environment. Well, nowadays we are using a different kind of technology in agriculture. Suppose you can see in the picture that someone is cutting down the tree with the help of a chainsaw. Because in earlier, whenever we cut the trees with the help of eggs, normally we waste a huge number of uh, like the wood or the huge number of uh, trees shape of the trees become uh, small so we uh, there were a lot of wastage that's why nowadays we are using the chainsaw which is um, a machine and which can cut the tree very smoothly very quickly and very in a it can give the beautiful shape of, of this wood Another part is that we are inventing new uh, new breeding, uh, that means we are applying the breeding system of plants where we can grow the better species from the better place and we can input uh, in our uh, gardening system, that means we, we can produce different kind of color flowers in a single species and it helps us to make our environment beautiful also we can utilize them to decorate in our in our uh, in our room or variety of uh, program or occasion so this kind of technology uh, has helping us to improve our ag agricultural sector and we are really benefited from them well that was the last two page of this chapter now let me give you another recap of these two pages what we have learned from here in first, well, we have learned that agriculture sector is developing with the modern equipment. As you can see that uh, already we are benefited of this, that we are using a modern equipment in agricultural sector and we are getting the benefits from there. What we can, uh, we can produce a lot of crops with the help of a minimum number of people. And also we can uh, do this kind of thing with, within a very short time. That means it reduces the manpower and also it reduces the time that we need in earlier. So we are getting everything. We are getting the feedback very well. Number two is the production of crops increased due to technology. Why? After inventing various kind of technology in the agricultural sector nowadays, we can uh, produce huge number of crops rather than the before that means when some in some days ago whenever the technology were not available in this uh, in the world we get a small amount of uh, 
agricultural item like the foods or the crops but nowadays we can uh, produce a huge number of crops in the same land with the uh, uh, with the help of this technology number three technology is used to invent plants with special traits that means we can change the species of uh, the plants because uh, some uh, suppose maybe you have a bit a better crops uh, you have the seed of better crops and other people doesn't have the uh, seed of better crops then they can exchange the plants and they can grow better in their crop field plant breeding helps us produce the beauty of many different colors of flowers in a species while this kind of characteristics really change the world of agricultural sector because nowadays we can beautify our area with the help of this technology we can create different kind of color uh, the the same suppose there you can get a variety of rows a variety of color of rows in your uh, in your garden and it really helps to make our garden beautiful also like the other flowers that we can get different kind of species of flowers in our garden so what we have learned that we are fully the technology is fully uh, connected with our personal life with our uh, medical life with our entertainment uh, with our communication life and here we have seen that we are fully connected with the agricultural life as well as uh, our personal life is fully dependent on there because we need to communicate with other peoples so i hope you understand my dear kids uh, if you have any problem with this uh, lecture you are free to contact us below but i want to suggest you that you have to watch this video for once or twice so that you can realize the fact but if you have any other problem you can contact with me so that's all for today i hope you will be fine at home thank you very much